<laughs> You're dead. What did do to do, guys? Today we got a GVG and an amazing patch notes. Oh my lordy! If you guys didn't see it, I'm gonna quickly skim through it, and you guys can read it. And then you guys can quickly read it, and uh, uh, you guys get to look at it real quick. But. Let's quickly go through this patch though, because I'm about to show you guys why this is all amazing. All right, so if you guys didn't look at it, we got ML Ken, K Ron B, who Ellie goes bunnies. I love Bunny, Moon Bunny the Mayo, Crescent Moon Red, Frontal Kowazel, and Shadow Knight Phyllis, which is the opposite of Arrowell. So, so I'm assuming they're making her better. Now, I quickly skimmed through the patch notes. So. <laughs> Uh, correct me around in the comments if I end up doing something I'm not supposed to. I mean, it's really something I'm not supposed to, but you know, help me out a little bit. But anyway, we're gonna go quickly go through this real quick. I don't want this video to be too long. First up, we got our boy ML Ken. Been playing this since the start of the game, baby. Since the very start, even my first ML5, technically. It's S1, they got rid of the minus attack and gave it a 100% chance to provoke, which is gonna be amazing. So if you have those ML kids that have some speed on them, he can actually punch people with his S1 because they counter attack. He, uh... Actually, if you think about it this way, if they don't counter attack, he doesn't attack with Dragon Flame, right? Cause you gotta hit with a crit. If you celebrate his S1, uh, your S1 will always be a successful crit, which is good for Lady and Emily anti crit, cause it means no matter what, you will always crit, even if they have a billion anti, uh, anti crit on them. And increase damage dealt, which I don't know how much damage dealt, but you know, S1 is an entire different thing. You don't gotta level up for a Dragon Flame kick apparently no more. S2, they got rid of 30% effect res. As you guys know, my email has like damn near 300 effect rest. I'll probably put his build at the top somewhere, probably real quick. So get rid of 30% effect rest. It's still gonna be like above like 250 effect rest. So MLK is still great. So I could shuffle around some effect rest if I really wanted to, or just keep him like that. It doesn't really matter. But now at the start of the battle, he get vigor. And when an ally set for the cast itself a critical hit, he counterattacks. And when the cast itself a critical hit, he tag he counterattacks with dragon flames. Wait, I just noticed something. When an ally set for cast itself a critical hit, he counterattacks. It doesn't say that he dragon flames when an ally. So like, when it, he pre, he has a free Elbrus technically, right? Do that mean he, if they get hit, if your ally get hit, will he counterattack with his S one provoke, and then if they hit him next turn or something like that? He, uh, if he get crit, he Dragon Flames at S2. God damn, I love this, <laughs> this patch. Anyway, and his S3 does have increased damage dealt. I know they've increased the damage to Dragon Flame, but that's not, you know, I'm not too worried about that. It depends how much by, but 40% Pin, Sigurd Scythe, Dragon Flame, Free Elbrus, Free Vigor, I'm Attack Buff, what is S2, I'm, I'm on his S3. Emo Kid is about to become a menace. Twisted the Dolan k Ron. S1, at the start of the enemy, at the end of the enemy turn, he gains to five spider spirit. No longer needs a buff, which is amazing. And they took away the rage, by the way. A combat readiness increase every three turns. So, increase combat by 50% when his fighting rate is full, and the combat readiness effect can only be activated once every three turns. So, he gets fighting spirit a lot easier now because they no longer need a buff, right? At the start of the battle, when C Liv does her S3, she doesn't have a buff and it doesn't give it to so when she ends her turns with the vigor or whatever, or when she ends her turns or take an extra turn, he gains 20 combat, you know, 20 fighting spirit. Which is honestly amazing. Before consuming fighting before consuming all fighting spirit, a successful attack inflicts 2,000 additional damage. And fixed damage increased proportion to the amount of consumed fighting spirit, which is I was having a hard time with this. Think about like what the heck would that mean by that? Pretty much, instead of the being a rage and inflicting ten thousand, you can just rip it off the bat on any any amount of fighting spirit. Pretty much, if you read this, at full fighting spirit, he still does ten thousand. As if, if I'm reading that right, you guys can correct me. If I'm reading that right, he still do ten thousand, but I'm assuming that at, at half at fifty percent fighting spirit, he do five thousand instead. It'd be fifty, yeah, five thousand instead. It's gonna be amazing for Kara. I'm happy for your boy. He's actually gonna be usable. <laughs> so B he, I was only gonna play with him today, but I'll wait till after his uh his buffs. 
So his S1 is no longer 50% on his turn. It said it's 100% to have Scorching Flame on an enemy oh, on your turn, actually, which is not bad. And it has decreased the cooldown of this S3, which I have no idea what's the, what's the cooldown of this S3. Let me quickly look at this real quick. Like I said, my Biku was gonna be, uh, I was gonna make him, but I was like, I wait till after this buff. I didn't know he was gonna get a buff, but I wait till after. It's a, okay, it's a four turn cooldown. You still burn, it become a two turn cooldown, which is not bad. I have 50% cover rate in this, but you know, you just be a, you feel like it's gonna be an extra support, just clapping his hands and burning people. Especially if you have his artifact, right? It makes his artifact better. He can gain 100% cover rate in this when he uh, soul burns and just take it, just start lapping. <laughs> All right, next up we got Eligos. We got the cleaners. Which they just increased the damage down the cleaners because I'm actually, you know, happy about this because this thing does like booty damage. <laughs> you guys know that Elegos S2 does booty damage when somebody dies. Just check a briefcase. And even if the target has like no speed, it still does like zero damage because it, you know, it's up to a max of 200%. Like, that should do some damage with the amount of armor pain that he has with Cloak and Dagger. I mean, not Cloak and, not cloak and Dragon, but. What, what is this skill? What is this artifact called? An offer you can't refuse, right? And then his S3 has increased hit chance for the caster for two turns. And when it was wakened, increased hit chance. Increased hit chance by 50%. So I'm a. Is Elegance the first one, a, a first unique hit chance button? Even, even so, this is going to be great because he hit eight and stuff. And you actually check a briefcase because I'm pretty sure they say that the bomb, the increased hit chance affects the bombs. The time bomb will slide me. Okay. Okay. All right, next up we got Moon Bunny. Moon Bunny Dominion, S1, increased chance to sleep. It seemed like it just made her better at what she does. 10% more effect rates will always be helpful. 20%, it just, it just made her better. It, just, it seemed like this is bringing her up to like current Gen units like Landy with her effect res and counter chance. They just increase her effect res and her chance to sleep. Dispel all debuffs from all allies and grant skin all fire. So she no longer gives a barrier on her S2 when they use an extra turn. She gives immediate skill all fire, which is always, always amazing. And instead, they put the barrier on her S3 with an attack buff. And on top of that, the barrier strength increased proportion to the caster with max HP. So no more Molagors. Your Molagors are actually useful, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, team skill level fire and you know, a team barrier. On top of that, increased chance to sleep. Good job, buddy. Next up, Crescent Moon Ren. I used to just play and mess around with Ren back there. If you see the uh, previous videos where I just Use her S1 just to put random buff because the rest of her kit is kind of useless. But now they actually made her a stun, so she now she's a disruptor. This is her S2. Before she would uh, stun for I still don't stun for one turn before stealing two buffs and granting their effect to all allies. And then I think they just changed the word around and still two buffs granting their effect to all allies before stunning the target for one turn. I'm dumb. <laughs> you guys explain. Is it pretty much the same or instead of that she just stuns first, then still buffs, or does she still buffs, then stun first? I'm dumb. <laughs> Next up, her S3 now give critical hit damage, which is actually pretty good. It used to give immunity, but now crit damage is uh, way better because you pretty much use uh, DPS. In the awakened form, she a critical hit would grant an extra turn, which is actually amazing. Like I said, or I don't think you guys see this. I, well, look at that last Crescent Moon video. Before, in order to get an extra turn, you had to dispel the buff, and the thing that will stop it is the fifteen percent. You can build as much effective as you want. It didn't ignore factor as it was just be like boom, boom, boom. 15% that it's still a buff, and then you would just cry because she doesn't get her extra turn and she become useless. <laughs> this is actually amazing. You can build like a crit necklace with some speed on it. I know you guys have speed crit necklace. I know I do. I have like at least a 17 speed one. 
I can actually give this to her and then she give crit damage so she can actually become a sub DPS in all honesty. A disrupting sub DPS, which is actually not bad. Next up in Fortnite Kawazu got that 5% combat readiness, which is actually not bad. 5% combat readiness over 20 will actually help out tremendously. And then next up, the detonation damage increase on his flames is actually amazing because everybody's going super tanky. And then Phyllis increase at the start of the turn, recover health by 5% instead of 3%, which is always nice considering that 2% uh, could go a long way. Extra heals. Mm -hmm. And her unit used to be when an ally set for the caster as a counter attack, reduce the damage. And now it's when all allies, so that includes her too, when it says when an ally. So ally counts, she, when she get counter attack, she reduces it, which <laughs> you guys don't think that's a big deal, but that's gonna be amazing because she can actually use Aureus. She already have a damage mitigation, I mean damage reduction. So Landy, when she attacking a Landy and Landy counter attacks, she reduces the damage from the counter attack. On top of that, you can have Aureus and take the damage from everybody if she decides to salvo. I'm hyped for this. Please give game credit for his extra attack, whatever, not after. As is, as this condition makes it possible to build a more optimal stats, you can either on left or CC when he is buffing. Risk. I agree, pretty much. You have to throw the time bottle to get procession for somebody else to dual attack, right? I feel it. But anyway, let's get into GBG, shall we? All right, we're still in preseason, but since the video's kind of long, we gonna have to fly through this. Like I said, yeah, like I said, this, these patch notes put me in a good mood, by the way, right? It just made characters better at what they already do. <laughs> this is amazing. Anyway, let's just kill people. All right, since those patch notes are good, we're going to be using some of the characters that is uh, not good at the moment until they get buffed up. <laughs> so, we got Ed Phyllis Elegos, and bottom we got Kim Bunny Benny Maru. Bitty Marvel's there just to help us out. And then, you know, Ed is there just to help us out also. I don't think Elio's gonna be faster. Oh, my buffs. Maybe for friends, which is actually not bad. Oh, 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 shooter. Just <laughs> business. Bang. Oh, no, oh, we're gonna try to get rid of Ravi real quick. Like I said, we're gonna go through this quickly because I'm in a mm, good mood, baby. Those bash, those notes, briefcase. We didn't get an attack buff, but we are way faster. Yeah, like I did like 5k. I know we didn't get an attack buff when it did like 6 or 7k or like that, right? Or I don't know how tanky it is, but the speed, my speed is way, way, way greater than Mercedes, up to 200%. <laughs> On top of that, Mercedes. Did, did she reduce that? I know they. I know they got the. No, she don't have escort either. Hmm. Anyway, we're gonna do this. We're gonna clear this off. We're gonna get escort. Do we kill her now? No, because I don't want to get hit by S three. <laughs> That's the main thing. What a quick exchange! Please don't kill Mercedes yet. I think you'll regret. This. Little bop, bop. We don't got the extra. Okay, now kill her. I will protect them. No matter what. I didn't see how much HP she has, but now she has escort. Heed my call. Which is honestly not good. You punks aren't worth my time. Go pop, bop. We gotta try to kill her as quick as possible. She's on counter. Thought so. Get rid of them. Ooh. Ooh. Elio's gonna die? No, the boy! Ah, oh, they want the Esther to go off. I was hoping this briefcase came back up, but anyway. <laughs> We're gonna slap this off. Oh, she resisted it. I didn't see how much HP, but she's on a counter set, so of course she has like a bunch of HP naturally. And now we go to S3 to get this over with. I wanna go to the game too. I'm surprised you crit. <laughs> Sorry for my boy Elegos, but when your buffs comes around, <laughs> know for a fact you're gonna get it. So we got my girl Moon Buns. She gave everybody barrier, it's immunity, and not skill nullifier immunity. 
But Benny Mario gets his thing, so he can't be debuff. Boom, 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 boom. Kid has three to affect Ren's gonna lose 30, but it doesn't really matter because uh, naturally Ren does not have that much. And we'll see if we can try to hit her with our increased hit chance to get rid of the DPS. Le flair. <laughs> Oh, I should probably so that's so bad. I should probably honestly uh Molagor Bitty Mario a little bit. <laughs> In all honesty. Her S3 would have gave an attack buff and a barrier, which would have been honestly amazing. I'm assuming it's a DPS. It's a DPS Lilies and Kim! It's going to be getting better. <laughs> like, that S3 would have just regardless. It would have just regardless uh, counterattack, but since he created like two of these units. Oh, I can't wait for these buffs, baby. All right, game number two. We got Kawazu Bunny and Twisted Adonai K Ron is going to be changed up a little bit. And then, by the way, we got Candy Phyllis and ML Kin. Oh my goodness. They're actually... I don't know. I feel like they, they learned from the previous buff and actually made it better. So Kyrie Lynn's gonna do her as her usual. And we're gonna ignore that by getting some immunity. <laughs> we'll teach them a lesson. Anyway, do we give ourselves an attack buff? Of course we do. I wanted, I wanted to hit Sand to see if I could like, you know, do her thing. But we'll, we'll worry about that later. Uh, we could wait for her S3, so we're just gonna punch her real quick. And then, once she S3s, we get her Vigor and scoot back up. And we have immunity, so we can't get provoked. None of us can get provoked right now. But the damage gonna hurt. Boom, boom, boom. Like I said, the damage gonna hurt. So we'll kick Senya. That extra 5%, baby. Think about it. <laughs> so Karina's gonna S3 to do some damage on us. Actually, we might just kill Karina. We'll see if we can put her to sleep. So here's what K-Ron would have did, right? Like I said, I don't know if every 10 fighting spirit is gonna be like a, a thousand uh, fixed damage. So he would have did like, you know, an extra 4K on top of the 2K. Or is it every every 100 or just it's gonna be 2k per i don't know <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say my i'm a slow the noggin so k Ron's gonna die because he's the lowest heat levels of the hp so we're gonna just boop, 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 do some damage to her real quick oh no hey we're gonna kick singing before he dies we're gonna kick her in the face If I kick her in the face, I mean, just kill her. <laughs> we'll see if we can put her to sleep. Nice. So, boop, boop, boop. We're gonna wake her up. Boom, boom. And also, he don't get fighting spirit for every, like, if they had a buff. It's fighting spirit just for, you know, <laughs> taking a turn, which is honestly nice. So you gotta be against certain characters. For what purpose do you exist? She should have her S3 back up oh, one more turn, but Rocket Punch is like really busted. Anyway, like we can see this S3. Such so, Cannot it would have deal damage on this, and then it would have extra per to fight it, the, it would have consumed the fighting spirit. I'm actually hyped for this. You? You're just a puppy. And then we get a 75% chance to. Uh, not saying five percent chance, but yeah, you can say five percent uh, chance to put him to sleep. Gonna be that's so amazing. Can you even reach me? And then we would have S three, and then we would have killed them all. All right, next game. She can't up with this anti crit, so boom, boom. I know it's only I know it's on ML's can, right? I don't know what I'm doing, but it can. If they, the thing is, if they would have crit another unit, right? Like would have crit landing that he would have counterattacked still. 
That's so amazing. Phyllis gonna should be able to eat this. That's my girl. She does have increased hit chance on this S3, I'm pretty sure. No, she don't. Hmm. Anyway, we're gonna provoke her. I know she's gonna be going for a Phyllis. I we was gonna have an Elvers battle, but mine's not Salvo win at all. And we would have S3 to give ourselves an attack buff on top of that to see what kind of difference break we might get. None. They're all effect rates. And we would have hit their Landy. They're gonna counterattack back. Where's, where, where's my Salvo? Oh, there we go. I was like, come on, game. Unfortunately, we do have. Uh... Oh, that goes before counterattack. I did not know that. That's actually good to know. Unfortunately, we don't have. Uh... I mean, we don't. We have restrict on us, and we're not salvaging like there's salvo. Wow, that's kind of pretty unlucky. But you know, like I said, I'm in a good mood for these buffs. Oh, we get a salvo. Not a single salvo. <laughs> All ships well, we got one salvo, so I can't say that's not bad. All right, game number three. We got K Ron, AOL, and then Lionheart Summer. This is not this game about not, not about to go well. And then by the way, we got Lethe, uh, who are you again? Lua and Bunny. Now the thing is, I was gonna put B Who and them in there, but the thing is, like, I didn't have them. I didn't have them built ready because I didn't expect them to be, you know, in a balance patch. I didn't expect them to go this direction. So I was like, oh. And then I'll probably, you know, build up another day when their buffs come around. Because I don't want to end up, you know, <laughs> playing with them too many times. Also, I don't want to, like, put their gear on and strip it back off and then put it back on again. You know what I'm trying to say. So I'll wait till, the, uh, till they come around. But anyway, let's get into this game and see what we can do. <laughs> Hey, we should do her thing. We should have put buns here. I don't know who's gonna kill first with her uh, S3 for Aiden. I'll go for her well. Ow. We're not thick enough. But it's all about K Ron. K Ron gotta do his thing. Maybe. And we want to see what we can get off. It seems like our E is not in greater attack. It seems like it's increased chance. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. slapper. Witness the futility of slapper. Maybe we get her dead so K Ron can be the only one here. <laughs> mm. I believe in you, K Ron. By that, I mean I don't really believe in you, but I believe that you might be able to do something. Boom, boom, boom. I can't wait till after like I don't gotta I don't gotta rely on a buff to actually use this S3, and I don't gotta rely on being full fury because it takes forever to build up. <laughs> See, at that turn he would have he would have been full. He would have been full fighting spirit on that turn, and the only person with a buff is Singa. Man, I can't wait for this. <laughs> and I think this is the last day for preseason for GBG, right? That would have killed two. Would have consumed it all and just killed. What well, would have killed those two and not Singa? I can't wait. Anyway, she, she does her thing. You guys see this a billion times. 
Oh no, bunnies. You really want your blood spill? Hey, we'll put this on so your girl. Out of my sight. Nope, they're I all effect res. And they're all effect this. It'll S2. I don't know how much my Lua has, by the way. Like I said, I don't play with her as much. I'll teach you a lesson. But she should have enough. And we'll give her a tech buff to Lethe. Since they have minus one, we can just S1 them. I don't know, but I do kind of want to put the frostbite on them. Just because the restrict. Yeah. That was never I want to put the restrict on instead of just S1 and then S2 and S3. They want to the counterattack, yep. Yep, yep. Ooh, create my ice shield. Yep, yep, yep. Dust Devil. Damn, that is lucky. 20 bucks you counterattacks. Ah, oh. Away with you. Uh, uh, uh. Nah, we could have done it. Have no their counters are. Their counter no chance is too good. I won't it. But like I said, I'm in a good mood. I don't care. <laughs> Last day for preseason. Anyway, guys, that was GVG and Palace, the Balance Patch Notes. Oh my god. That is some good Balance Patch. I, I know I keep going on about it, but I can't wait to see. You know, what's this like? I'll probably do like a quick stream, but I'm supposed to be going today, but I'll do like an hour or two hour stream when I'm actually live. I don't know when I'm gonna be on. Probably about 12, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh my God, that is, that, that is some good stuff. I forgot to take my medicine. Anyway, <laughs> see you guys around, peace.